Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Love to Hate, Hate to Love. And today, my guest is Lauren Ash. Hello. Hi, hi. Hi. So you've done uh, you, right now. You're starring in Superstore. I am. And then you also did uh, another period. Yes. And Super Fun Night. A lot That's of supers right. in your. You do a lot of super things. A lot of super things. Really, fingers crossed for a guest star on Supernatural. That's uh. that's real though. Like I love Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> just to fill out the trilogy? Just to fill out the trilogy. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Okay, and then Supergirl maybe? Supergirl, Supergirl? And, but then it's then I'm out. I feel like then it's like, then I gotta just the it. clock no, out. No and supers. Yeah. No, no, be done. Cool, cool. Well, uh, as I've said before, the basic idea is uh, we're going to talk about something that you love to hate, and then we'll talk about something that you hate that you love. Yes. And that's, and that's about it. So what is it that you, Lauren Ash, love to hate? Now, I've been thinking about this. I thought about this all last night and this morning. And, like, I want to say something like genocide or hypocrisy <laughs> or body shamers. Like, I wanted to say something, like, so intelligent and smart. But <clears throat> the truth is... Something really altruistic or something. Something really, yeah, yeah, that it was like, I have a message to send. Right. <clears throat> the truth is, though, if I had to choose, like, the number one thing that I hate, it's spiders. Oh. I hate them. And I love all living things. Right. But I wish them ill like mm. i want them all to die you love hating them. i love hating them i wow. think they're abominations i think they move in a way that is not natural like that shouldn't exist in nature there's but, no reason to me they should exist in nature people are like they kill flies or whatever something no, no, else no. will go kill the flies <laughs> Do you man, know what I mean? Man will kill the flies. Man will kill the flies. <laughs> we can kill we got the fly situation under control <laughs> spiders like go die. That's inter- you know it's it's interesting. I mean i don't hate spiders but i am terrified of them. Spiders just freaked because I I always thought right. it, it's interesting you say that because I always thought if I was to create a monster just out of the out of the top of my head I go wow let me think something with eight legs eight eyes yeah devours its prey living yes it's like wow you could like there is no movie monster that comes anywhere close to what a spider does this is what I'm saying this is like again like it's an abomination of nature like it mm-hmm. doesn't make sense there's certain things that it's like okay like a snake. Maybe it started out as a lizard and then over evolution it lost its legs. And I'm like, okay, that can make sense to exist. A rat, it's like, well, I can understand how that exists. But right. the spiders, it do, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It does yeah. feel like somebody was just like gluing googly eyes onto yeah. pipe cleaners. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. like, you, you touched on something that's interesting, though, because I do fear them, but I think I hate how much I fear them. Oh, okay. That's you know, I think that's know. part of it for See, me. Because I've had to, ju- I've, like you were saying, I've juxtaposed it with like, well, you know, they kill... They kill bugs, so I'll just like let them be or whatever. But yeah, there was a time. Well, I don't. Have you ever been to Australia? No. Yeah. And there's that's part of the reason. Yeah. <laughs> I'm one hundred percent not kidding. I, I get so freaked out. Like somebody was posting pictures when they were in Mexico or something, and it was like, look at the tarantula that was. And I was like, like I'll never go there. Yeah, exactly. Like I just I can't do it because that's the other thing. Like I hate again. Like I'm an equal opportunist in terms mm-hmm. of the hatred I have for all genres of spiders. Um, the little ones, you know, I hate them too, but those, like, those tarantulas, those bird-eating spiders and stuff yeah. like that, again, like... Just, like, d- terrifying, yeah. Well, I was, I, because I've been to Australia, and I was, like, uh, I remember this one, I was staying at a, at a person's house, like, I was sleeping over or whatever, and I remember I was laying in the bed, and I looked up, and I go, man, that's, that window's all cracked, and then I realized it wasn't cracked, it was, like, a spider, just all the legs, the legs were large enough to go to, like, to the edges, and I didn't sleep the rest nope. of the night, like, I just sat there staring at it and I just couldn't move and I was just it, oh. I mean, it never moved either but I was just like I will not sleep here because all I kept thinking was I will wake up with this thing oh. sitting on my face or whatever oh my god yeah, yeah. no I remember in, remember in Home Alone when um what's his name uh, there was the tra- the pet tarantula and then they like yeah. threw it and it landed on what's his name oh, Joe face? Pesci's face or whatever yeah, yeah. Like Daniel Stern Daniel Stern was Daniel Stern's face and I don't know how they did it because there was some controversy that there was glass in between when they filmed it. Oh, yeah. But then I had heard that it was actually on his face. And I was like, I, you couldn't pay me a million dollars. Like, I would literally, I would, like, th- no, I'm gone. Seems, yeah, you, I'm you, you need a stunt double or uh, something. I wonder if you, could you do a fake spider? Would you do a, could you do a fake spider? I honestly think that would be difficult and I'm not yeah. kidding. Wow. I, I would try it, but I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could fully do it. <laughs> it's something about the, yeah, oh, oh, like just now my, my, my heart is racing. Um, they're also like, they're designed to kill. Like this is yeah, the other they're, thing. They're like, predators. They're, they're predators. predators yeah. And there's, there's some of the tarantulas that you can't even touch because they have, you heard about this? They have barbs. They have these like, oh, these like hairy barbs that if you touch them, they like implant in your skin Jesus. and it's poison. And I'm like, there's no reason for that to exist. <laughs> if it had less legs, maybe I would be like not as freaked out by it. 
I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're both we're like, like nah, nah, it's, it's, still bad. It's, it's still bad. It's still bad. I really hate them, though. And, yeah. and honestly, like, almost anything else, even other instincts, like, I don't even hate cockroaches that much. Oh, I don't yeah. like them. Like, it's not like, yeah, I don't, yeah, you yeah. know, I don't want it. I yeah, don't want, I want them want in my them. house. Yeah, I don't like... want them. But I don't look at a cockroach and think, like, oh, I have hatred towards you. But yeah. literally, like, images of spiders, <laughs> spiders in real life, um, like that arachnophobia movie. I remember that came out when oh, I was little, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, good night. Like, no, not interested. Yeah, well, because you have it. You don't <laughs> need you don't you don't need a movie. <laughs> You're right. I, I got it. I, I got I it got every that. single day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't I live that. Ugh. That's my movie, yeah. <laughs> I'm like salivating. Yeah, I know. I see so... you are really going like I mean you can't <laughs> I see it, but, but so much. Lauren is like all over the room here. She is like just arms gesticulating. <gasps> oh. She is very, very upset about it. Again, this, this was why when I was like when it came down yeah. to it, I was like, Oh, genocide, yeah, I hate it, but not yeah, like I hate nice. those spiders. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I can watch Schindler's List, but I can't watch Arachnophobia. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it. It's like, oh, oh, good. Gross. Yeah, spiders. Wow. And then, and it's weird, yeah, because there are a lot of horrible animals out there. But yeah, there is something about a. It's just it's so alien to to any other life form that we can think of, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. It's like, it is almost like it came from another planet. Like, it does feel that way to me. Yeah, yeah. It does feel that way to me. It, again, like, other insects, too, are gross, like, you know, the centipedes of the world and stuff like that. I don't love how they move either. But I feel like they're not as prevalent in, like, you don't find yeah, them yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, like, I, well I, but we come from Canada where it's like, there's so, you know, thank, thank God it's so cold that nothing ever grows big enough to scare the hell out of us, you know? It's very true. You're only ever going to encounter, like, a centipede or a millipede in, in a like, a damp Ontario, southern Ontario basement. Yeah, like, that's exactly. Where you're gonna and find that's where you're going to find it. And even then, it's shocking when you find you're it. You're like, is. holy it's like, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah, and yeah, they're like an oh, inch long. Yeah, exactly. and it's like, oh, 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 it moves all the way. Can't go back. Can't go back. I'm not going back down there. Oh, Meanwhile, God. yeah, and I've seen these footages from these from these, you know, more tropical climates where, yeah, they've got, like, the long worm-like centipede things yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. I don't love that either. Yeah. But, again, I'm going to I'm gonna go toe-to-toe with a centipede before a spider. Spider. There you go. Well, I, and I, because I've been to Australia twice, and I always say the, the thing about Australia is, yeah, there's, and the other things, not only are they big, but they hide. You know, see, so you, you don't notice them until you're right on them, right? And, no. you, and then they freak out, and then they come at you. Oh. And I was like, it's like the the great thing about Canada compared to Australia is at least in Canada if something's going to kill you you see it coming from a mile away like yes. you, you see a bear coming <laughs> yes you know, you know what? that's totally it's I totally like, have that same mentality though where it's like yeah exactly I can punch a bear yeah can I punch like, a spider probably not yeah I can't even touch a spider how you am can't I touch punch it you're gonna yeah. get your poison barbs in you potentially yeah, exactly no. but yeah I always like that that no. was the thing like in Australia I spent I spent the first week in Australia just terrified of everywhere I stepped because I thought for sure I was going to step on some giant fucking spider oh, that was just going to take a That's take a terrifying to know that they hide too because you know what yeah. that proves to me then proves intent. Yeah. Like that's not just like oh it's just a creature that roams and whatever. That yeah. proves that it's like there's a brain in there and that makes me hate them yeah. more. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I would pick up a mouse. I would pick up a rat if I found him. I know they'd be like, oh, you can mm. get rabies, whatever. I could handle a snake. Like, I could touch it. But a spider, even? No. Yeah, no. I'm, get rid I'm of with you on the, I'm with you on that. It's just that whole you know, the whole fang thing. And again, the eight. Like, if you ever see a spider close up, like, they, you know, sometimes you'll see it on, mm-hmm. you know, on the internet. Let's say they'll, they'll show you, pick, you know, nature photos of some spider. And you see the, like, eight eyes just, like, blows my mind. It just, like, oh. uh, it What the hell do you need eight eyes for? What are you looking at? They're all, <laughs> and they're all, they're all pointing, pointing the same forward. way. They're all pointing the same way. <laughs> yes. How many freaking eyes do you need? And then though sometimes you'll see things where it shows you that kind of like kaleidoscope effect. Like, oh, yeah. this must be what it looks like to be a spider. Yeah. And it's like, well, it looks really confusing too. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I really don't want, I want to just reiterate, like I don't want anything to die. Like any animal, I don't want them all to die. But I, I really do want them to die. There you go. <laughs> That's a very, it's a very uh, pick and choose Hindu yeah. philosophy you have there. <laughs> It's like, I don't yeah. want anything to die. Yeah. But except this. Except this. this. I, like, if I could. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I won't be sleeping well tonight. Oh, I oh, honestly, thanks. if I think I'm the same way as you, though, like if I had seen that, that on a window, like before going to bed, it would have been good. Like I was, I was impressed done. that I managed to stay in the room. Like that was the thing for me. Like that I, is I looked, impressive. I was like. But I, I mean, because I, it was a guest, I was a guest in somebody's right. house, so I didn't want to like be like, eh, this is fine. <laughs> but you know? also, didn't you kind of want to keep an eye on it? Oh yeah, no. I, like that's part of well, it too, is that it's like, I'm going to stay here. I'm with, not like, going my... to another room, <laughs> yeah. it, might come, it might follow me, what the hell? <laughs> right, that, who knows what is behind that next door? It's like, oh, there was, did you ever see, that? You, would, you wouldn't have seen it, obviously, because there was like an episode of uh, 
Night Gallery, which is an old Rod Stewart. Oh, I remember show. Night Gallery. Yeah. yeah. And there was one. There was one where a spider. This guy tries to get rid of a spider, and it keeps coming back bigger each time, and no. it gets bigger and bigger. And I still, I, I can't remember the plot. I just remember each time he got rid of the spider, it came back larger, and it was just. And by the the last time, it was like the size of a dog or whatever. Oh it was just like, God. Holy shit. And he was like, oh, that God. is brutal. Oh, so, that is that is the thing of. What the hell was the point of that one? I gotta, I gotta look that up later. <laughs> Night <laughs> Gallery, though. Night Gallery, the one that that I always remember is really sticking out was there was a guy who would go to this art gallery. It was silent, and he would picture himself in the beautiful mm-hmm. like uh, boat, painting. boat painting. Yeah. And so then he would he would actually go into the painting, and so then he tried one day through it. I can't remember exactly, but he somehow managed to put himself in there. But then there was a mirror or something in the room, so it ended up that he ended in this terrible crucifixion, very because yeah. what it was dark no, painting. What it was was he was a he was a he was a Nazi war criminal, and he. He had uh, escaped oh. Germany after World War II, and he was hiding in Argentina. And uh, and he was, you know, he had the guilty conscience of what he'd done. Right. So he'd go to this place, and then at some point somebody recognizes him, so he's freaking out. So they're chasing him, and they're chasing him. And he goes to the uh, art oh. gallery, and he prays to be put into the painting. But he, but unbeknownst to him, during the uh, during the day, they had cha- they'd moved the paintings around. So he went to the regular spot. Okay. But it was dark because he'd broken into the museum at night because they were chasing him at night. Right. And he runs into the museum and he goes, please, whatever you can do, just put me in the painting. He looks up and it's like, yeah, it's somebody being crucified. So, so now instead he's trapped inside this painting being right. crucified for all eternity or whatever. It's well, like, I'm, I'm glad geez. we talked about this because the way I remembered it, it had none of that backstory. So oh, I was yeah. like, what are we supposed to learn from this? <laughs> <laughs> like, be careful what you wish for. Well, yes, but right. knowing Stop. that he was a Nazi war criminal now, I'm like, oh, okay, now the message is clear. I like that, but clear. I do like that more. I'll be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> be careful because you could end up you in end up, yeah. eternal hell. Look before you wish. That's all I got to say. Look before you wish. <laughs> Those are words to live by. There you go. That See? is for real. I hate them. I yeah. hate them. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Good to know. All right. <laughs> I think we've. Uh, I think we've. Uh... But, but I will say just uh, yeah. to 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 sum it up. Ironically, my favorite superhero is Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Well put. All right. Cool. All right. We definitely got your uh, love to hate. Now, yeah. what do you hate that you love? Your guilty pleasure. What's this thing that you you're this ashamed a, of? This is a tough decision, too, right. honestly. But honestly, it is celebrity-based reality television. Oh, wow. So it's a very specific genre. <laughs> <laughs> celebrity-based reality? Television? Yes. So is that like the Kardashians? Or? Well, it, it for me, it has branched into Kardashians for sure. But yeah. what it started was um, like the Osbournes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, there was uh, Meet the Barkers, which was Travis Barker from Blink-182 and his wife. There was uh, that, that till was death. A, that was a show. Somebody thought that would be a good idea for a show. It lasted multiple seasons. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, Nick and Jessica Newlyweds. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, Till Death Do Us Part, which was Carmen Electra and Dave Navarro. Oh. Um, But the thing about all of these kind of early reality shows was they didn't know what they were doing yet. And I love it so much because it's like nobody's really dressed uh, up, you know, like the video quality is bad. And it was like pre, like they were scripting, but not fully. So it was like storylines would be about nothing. And I love it so much. I've seen every episode. I've never seen, and this is where it becomes embarrassing. Is people will talk about like Breaking Bad or The Wire. And I'm like, right. I've never seen an episode of those shows, but I've watched every single episode <laughs> of, Nick <and laughs> of, of Nick and Jessica of Newlyweds. <laughs> Multiple times. Oh, my God. I have the DVDs. <laughs> it's awful. It's this so This is really... Bad. I feel... I feel... I almost feel sorry for you. I'm blushing. Yeah, really, it's oh bad. Uh, the only, it's bad. What about... Was there... There was one with Britney Spears, right? Wasn't there one with Britney Spears? Britney Can't Spears had a... Uh, it was a special. It was oh, called okay. Chaotic, and it okay. was a, like, a two or three hour, I feel like, TV special they did, which makes me wonder... If they had been filming it to be a series, but then we're like, oh, like, this just... is just yeah. Because Posh Spice also had one of those. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't okay. remember what the name of it was, but it was similar, and it became a TV special, which was like a two or three hour long thing. Is it, I wonder if they're like they once they get into it, they don't the celebrities suddenly realize just how much effort. I, I'm sure at first they think, oh, I'm just gonna live my life, and and these people are gonna pay me. And they'll do, and they'll have like little, maybe they'll have cameras off in the distance, but it's like, no, the cameras are like right there in your face. Yes. 24 7. And then I think, I wonder if it's like they realize, they go, oh, whoa, this is no. no yeah, I, this no, is not, I'm, no. I'm it, I think that that's part of it for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, it's such a guilty pleasure of mine. It's such a bizarre one to have that it, I, I don't know whether it's because 
a lot of the time when I when I choose to watch television, it's like because I really just want to decompress. Right. So it's like I like I can't like a show like again like Breaking Bad or The Wire. It's like that's something you want to actively watch. It's right. like I need to, to like pay, pay attention, attention yeah. and actively watch whatever. But those reality shows, it, it's, it's just it just numbs you. It's it's like fast food. Like it's like it just yeah. numbs you. Okay. You don't really have to pay attention. You can kind of like doze off, come back in, and it's like you haven't really missed much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's like television Muzak or whatever. It's television Muzak, yeah. totally. That's a good way of putting it. But yeah, Nick and Jessica, that one especially, I I've rewatched all of it. I think probably three times, which is oh, so yeah. embarrassing to admit. I, I do remember there there is one I remember, and I remember watching. I watched I watched one because I don't I can't stand those shows, but I mm-hmm. the one. I did watch just because I was fascinated by it. Was uh, Lisa Loeb? Do you remember Lisa Loeb? I, yes, of course I've seen it. And it was, <laughs> you've seen that one. I've seen them all, man. I'm was, not kidding. And it was like she was looking for a looking a for love. Or yeah, is that what it's called? Looking for love. So I, I can't remember what that was called, but that was definitely the premise yeah. of it. Yeah. And uh, did it last very long? Because I only no. saw one episode. I think it might have gone two seasons. I'm not sure. It was definitely really? one. Two seasons. I think it might have been two seasons. But she did end up finding. I don't know if it was on the show, but she did end up finding love, and so I think that's what. Oh, good kind for of her. Got well, her I'm the glad show. I hope. I think it was a happy ending. I'm, I, I hope, hope so. so. I hope so. For she her, seems yeah. nice. Well, that was the thing. Like I had a huge crush on her, you know, because she's like, like she's like exactly the kind of girl, you know, nerdy kind of girl with glasses, and, right? You know, and tights and stuff like that. And, Absolutely. And like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, glasses and, and tights. Tights and the yeah. She, she, She's like book smart. She's like the sexy librarian style or whatever. Totally. You know? So it was like, I so I had a so when I saw that I was like, I can't believe I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> but it's Lisa Loeb. I really want to see if Lisa Loeb finds a boyfriend, and I want to know if he looks like me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's valid. That is a valid that. thing. That was it. And for if in terms for me, I was like, oh, it's another reality show about a celebrity. I'm in. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I need to know. That's it. I think part of it too is because obviously a lot of celebrities are very private about their their right, lives yeah. because you know so much of it becomes a part of of the public anyway that yeah. a lot of people kind of have that want to to be private and so there is something intriguing to me about the people who choose to put it all out there, which I have to of course shout out to Tori Spelling because that's been a real amazing juggernaut of a reality reality television career. Oh yeah, I don't know if you. No, you know, I don't know. Have, well, I don't know. She's so got she, one? yes. Oh my God, she's had a million of them. Well, because she, you know, her dad left her nothing or something. Isn't that That's the deal? right. Like her dad, like cut her off completely or something. Her dad, they had a good relationship, but he, I guess he made his will. There, she talks about it on one of the shows, but he made his will like forty years ago or something. And so the amount of money that she was given, I think at that time was considered a lot, but now it was like the equivalent of like two hundred thousand dollars or something. Oh, wow. Like it was not. Yeah. So she was given something, but it wasn't really that much. And she has a bad relationship with her mother, a n- notoriously bad, pardon the pun, notoriously. Um, <laughs> I hate myself so much right now. <laughs> but uh, so her mother also did, wasn't really, didn't. I think the father oh, yeah. kind of assumed like, oh, well, the mom will spread the rest yeah, of the wealth around, the take around. care of the kids. And she, she just didn't. Wow. So, yeah. So when she got together with Dean McDermott, they started, they decided to like open a and b and so they had this reality show called Torian Dean in I N N Love. Oh, of course. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, nice uh, again. And that ran for for quite a few years in different incarnations and stuff. And it's it's really fascinating to watch. But then they just had uh, Torian Dean Home Sweet Hollywood when they moved back to Hollywood and they followed that whole thing. These went on for years. But then, of course, the the crazy one is when it came out that Dean McDermott had cheated on her. She started the next week filming a reality show called True Tory. Oh my gosh. And it follows them through therapy and oh. dealing with the fallout, of course, of having four extremely young children and, and this this the husband thing? who's cheated yeah. and then has to go to sex rehab. Or rehab in general. Really? Sorry. Just sex re- <laughs> I always love I always love that idea of like, oh man, I like sex. It's like yeah, that's a <laughs> That's what sex is. It's we're supposed to like it because that's how we procreate. You know. Yeah, that's the reason it exists. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. it's it's mm-hmm. yeah. It's something we all really like. I don't understand why that's a. It's an interesting thing. I don't know. I saw a documentary once about some male strippers in Niagara Falls, Canada. Ah. Again, again, this is you're getting an idea of the kind of things the I things like to you view. You like to watch, yes. Yeah, so um, but there was one of them, and he, I think, summed up sex addiction in in its best form. And he, he wasn't saying that he was a sex addict, but after this, I was like, oh, I think that really sums it up. Yeah. He was like, the only thing better than having sex with the hottest woman in the world is having sex with any other woman for the first time. 
Oh, interesting. And I was like, oh, I think that that's very wise. You have no self-awareness. So you don't realize <laughs> that you're basically saying, like, this is my sex addiction. Right, yeah. And I was like, oh, that makes a, that makes more sense, I guess, for the, the Well, I mean, novelty are... in that. I was like, yeah. I remember there was some some poet or writer, he said... Uh, a new a, a new relationship or a, a new woman is like a is like an unexplored continent. It's like it's huh. a, there's this this sense of discovery and you know and you right. don't know what you're gonna find and it's all very exciting and that and I can I can kind of see that in one way. But who wants to? I mean, oh, that's a lot of continents to discover. So much work. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> look, you know how much trouble it is just to find one continent oh, and just yes. like, and explore it. Explore one continent? That takes a long time. Long time. time. Yeah, oh, and then once you've finished, you finally feel like you've conquered it. Then yeah. it's like, oh, i got to start over? Oh, like, yeah, no, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to establish. <laughs> I'm going to establish. I'm going gonna, I'm to stick with this other one. That's why they call it settling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm settling. I'm settling. That's settling. brilliant. There you go, yeah. Oh, my God. Write a self-help book oh, tomorrow. Come so on. So, i got to ask you. So, what was the, mo- what was the, if, if you, there was one reality celebrity crazoid yeah. meltdown hilarious scenario that you saw was it the Tori Spelling one or was there another one where it's just like you just you watching you go I can't believe this is happening I feel like, like I honestly like true Tori I would suggest anybody watch because it's it there is kind of nothing like it almost because yeah. all, the, all the other ones are kind of these like even in the early you know Osborne's phases where it was like they didn't really know what they were doing and it wasn't that glossy Kardashian yeah, yeah, look yeah, yeah. true Tori like she just went for it and it was like you I, I love her. I'm fascinated by her and all that. But it was like, I, I can't believe that some of the things that happened on that show were performed. Like, it was just too real, right. like, in the moment. So, like, you know, there's, like, this day where she's in she can't get out of bed because she's really, really sad. And, and the, she's crying. And Dean comes in. And, and they're talking. And she's just, like, and then you just see her, like, kind of, like, go into this meltdown and wow. starts, like, screaming at him, like... Like, you know what I mean? Like, you need to love me! And, like, no makeup and just, like, screaming, like, figure it out! And it's, it's, I mean, it's heartbreaking because it feels very, again, if she's, if she, if it wasn't real, then give her every award. Let's put it that way. I was going to say, because she's not that good an actor. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, based like... on her, you know, her, her made-for-TV canon, I mean, maybe not. Um... Well, I mean, like, I, I just remember from 90210, I'm yeah. going... There's like for what it sounds like, that's how that's got to be real because I don't recall her ever being that good, that that right. having that ability to emote. Well, not a, I don't feel a lot of actors do to be yeah, honest. Yeah. Like it was it was pretty unbelievable, and and also I was like, oh, are you gonna be okay that this is on television in ten years? Like, yeah, really? Are it, your kids are gonna see it someday. It, oh my god, yeah, because they grew up with it, right? Like, they grew up with, with in that way, so, yeah, when are they gonna find that out? And then Dean starts crying, and he really looks like he's, like, trying to cry, oh, yeah. but she's, like, really going for it, like, oh. I am broken! You broke me! Like, that kind of level of, <laughs> you gotta see this. <laughs> I might, I might have to watch this. Honestly, one. Oh honestly, it's it's very compelling. Like, and and it's it's an interesting kind of uh, debate. Also, you know, like when is is it too far? Is it too much to showcase your life in that way? Because then you could also argue, you know, it's like, but isn't that a little bit more admirable? Because it's like this is a real crazy thing. Then like today we're gonna go to Target and yeah, uh oh, right. there's gonna be a crazy employee. Yeah, and, you know exa- what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. So it's it's interesting. It definitely was like its own genre. I felt like of of reality television that I think. No one else is ever going to do. <laughs> Never going to get that real again. I don't think that that's Never going to happen again. Yeah. Jesus, you should just, I, I was thinking you were watching and going, maybe I should call somebody. <laughs> just like. I got maybe, some ideas. Yeah, I got some ideas for a show. It's me, it's me and my uh, hatred of spiders. I'll yeah. just walk around, you know. Easy peasy. Oh my God, it's a reality show where you're an exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> this writes itself. It's itself. people. Yeah, that's it. Go. Yeah. Oh, now I'm like now I'm like racking my brain for like a funny pun title. It'll come to me. It'll come to me later. Wow, that, that was great. Great. Thank you so much for this. Thank that was you. Good. Uh, those are both wonderful things that uh, <laughs> love to hate. Hate the love. I was like, I wonder if anybody else is gonna have had this. And I was like, no. no, no. <laughs> You're fairly unique. You're fairly unique, Lauren. Ash, what a joy. Your, what a joke. Cool. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>